We we have really a cross section. There there are, there are folks who are um, very um, very bright and and have uh, college educations uh, and even a masters. Um, and we have folks who haven't um, uh, a number of folks who haven't completed grade school. So uh, um, that is a uh, it's sort of a mixed uh, picture. Um, we try to treat th everyone. Um, as individuals and deal with their individual problems, those people who have mental health problems or, uh, prob or, or health problems or other issues, um, we try to provide them with the resources that we can. I think what's, what's really different about this program, and I, I mentioned it before, is we really try to deal with the, the whole person and we use every possible means or technique or resource that's available to us and uh, in my way of thinking, uh, the case managers are a big part of figuring out what folks need the most. And we try to use our community as a way of delivering that service. First and foremost, on regular parole, my agent sent me to a programs, daily reporting, and I jumped through a lot of hoops, you know, a lot of things. And I really would do the program, and then they, I, everything I'd like. I'd still be homeless and still have nothing. You know, I do all this and it's still I, like a lot of setbacks and I kind of look, I asked for this. I was something I look forward to doing, you know, because it's like, it's a lot of resources that I didn't have before because before when you're just on regular pool, you have so many resources, but yet you still, they don't have the proper resources. Here they got a lot more things they can offer you and more services for you. And it looks, I think it's a lot more helpful towards me. You know, I'm looking forward to, a lot of people look forward to getting off parole, but I'm just trying to get my life straight. That's the main thing. Because, I mean, even if I get off parole, I don't want to get back on parole. You know, and when you're just out there digging out of garbage cans all day long and committing crimes, what future is that? Now this, I look forward to, you know, having some kind of stable housing and, and I go into school. You know, things I should have been doing besides running the street. You know, I, I kind of like this. I like this a lot, actually. You know, I mean, even though I have to come to court and take a drug test every week, you know, this little, those are little hoops compared to what other things I have to do. You know, because on regular pool, you know, daily reporting every day and going to this program, it gets kind of old. You know, I mean, I still go into programs every day and still do what they tell me to do, but, you know, it's worth it now.